Hi, welcome to iTeach 3D. This is Brad, and in this video we're going to learn how to use a mask in 3ds Max. And I'm using um, version uh, Max 2014, 64 bit, uh, but you can use it in pretty much any version of Mask, uh, 3ds Max, all the way back to uh, the very beginning, pretty much. So, anyway, let's learn how to do this. Uh, first of all, just to apply it, I'm just simply going to create a sphere here in my viewport. That's what we'll do to take a look at it. And uh, we're going to use the material editor, so I'll open my material editor. And sorry, it goes a little bit below the screen there. All right, so let's take a look at it. So in my first material slot here, um, I'm going to use it. Let's just see how it looks here. I'm going to open up the maps rollout, and let's use it as an opacity map. So I'll click on none and we can just use it as a bitmap right here so I'll double click bitmap and then it's asking me what uh, what do you want to use and here's what I made in another video this mask so I'll double click it and it's going to apply it in here and you can see if I uh, click on the background this is uh, how it looks now so you can see that it's all there so now if I'd like to rotate it uh, drag rotate I just right clicked on it so now I can kinda rotate around and see it kinda looks like uh, um, some earth and uh, and sea. It looks like a, an earth map. So anyway, so we can use it as an opacity map. So I'm going to go back to parent level. And all we did was here use it as an opacity map. Alright, so that was pretty cool. Quick and easy. Let's uh, click the next slot here and let's use it as a um, as a map that we'd like to see two different materials and uh, where the map is white we'll see one material, where the map is black we'll see a different material. So we're going to use a blend. So, um, so that's what we'll do. Now what we'll do is we're going to change this from a standard material here. If I click on my standard material button it opens up the material browser. What we'd really like to use is right here the blend material. So I'll double click blend material and it asks do you want to keep the old material? Sure, that sounds fine to me. I'll say OK. It's just a default material there anyway. What I'll do is two materials and then the mask. Well let's uh, add one material and I can either put materials in there like like maps, a brick, concrete, or I could even just uh, put a color in there. So just for the sake of uh, time and just to show you, I'm just going to put some color in there. So maybe some purple uh, on this first one, and then we'll go back up to. I can either go up to parent or I can go over to sibling. So I'll just go over. You can see now it says material two. So same thing on the diffuse color. I'll click that color bar. It brings up my color selector. And this time I'll just choose a different color. The first one was purple, this one will be green, and we'll get to see the uh, the difference between the two. All right, go back up to parent level, and now it's asking me for a mask. What do I want to do to make these two show up, uh, blend together? So the mask, I'll click where it says none, and I only really need to select the bitmap uh, bar here, so I'll double click that. And once again, choose the mask that we've been using, and I'll say open and now it blends between the two here that you can see so if I double click this you can see now that it blends between the two so I can look all around it and that's pretty cool and uh, if I don't want to do this I can right click and go back to drag and copy um, if I can even reset the rotation on it so it's uh, right uh, facing up again everything else looks good here so I'm good now let's apply it and see how it applies actually in our in the um, on the sphere here. So this first one I'll take and uh, I'm just going to drag it on there and you can't see it in the viewport so I'll click show shaded material in viewport click on that and it shows it in the viewport here but what it's doing actually is it's um, it's only showing the one here that's interactive. It'll show it if I render it. Let me pull this down a little bit so you can see our render button. So I'll render production sure enough there it is. If I would like to see material 2 which was our green material here then I'll click interactive here and then it shows the other one so I can just click on whichever one I'd like to see um, in the viewport or if I'd like to see the mask um, right there it'll show me ah, but it's not showing. Uh, not sure why it's not showing um, but anyway so um, so that's how to uh, make a mask material here. Let's throw this other one on it and see what it does. Now in the viewport here I clicked on the um, the background right there. It gives us a colored checkerboard background as you can see. It just makes it easier to see um, transparent materials in there. So let's throw this one on there. I'm just simply going to drag it on there. Even if I show this one in the viewport um, uh, it's only going to be, uh, well there it gives us the, um, the color here. <clears throat> 
So what we can do now is just to show it, if I render this, there it is, and because the background is black, it's kind of hard to see that it's transparent. Um, unfortunately, I don't have this uh, a, just a click box where I can click the, um, the background right there. So let me show you quickly what we can do. So we could take, uh, we'll close this, let's go into our rendering, let's go into environment, or I can press the 8 key, and uh, right here is our color of our environment. Well, since black is the same as, as our, my mask, if we just simply click that, just change it to a different color, something that might be a little easier to see. So I change the background to yellow. Now when I render it, I'll click my render button, and uh, now you can see much clearer that, oh yeah, so that is uh, transparent through there. So uh, it shows up right through there. So anyway, uh, so I've got transparency. So that's kind of how it looks, and that's how a mask works in 3DS, mask, uh, 3DS Max. Um, feel free to play around with it, have some fun with it. Play with some of the other material slots here. Um, you could even do, you can do other things with it as well. Um, we'll just do one other one real quickly. So instead of a standard material, what if I wanted to do, uh, say, a composite material? So I'll double click composite material, keep the old material as a sub material. Same thing, I've got a lot of different materials here. And notice they're all um, by default set at 100% here. Let's do the same thing. Let's just put a color in the material one slot, a color in material two slot, and then the base material we'll use as the mask. Same thing, so I'll click here. I'm just going to make this a, a standard material and let's give it a color. This time I'll use a couple different colors. How about uh, how about blue? We'll use blue and then let's go up. There's material 2, um, standard material, and then click on the diffuse uh, button there and let's try uh, uh, how about yellow or even orange. How about that? That looks good to me. Alright, so we've got um, we've got blue and we've got orange right here, blue and orange, and uh, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to, let's double click this, you can see it a little bit better here, and then for the base material I'm just going to put the mask in, so we'll play around with that, so I'll click here, diffuse, it'll be my, um, I'll just put that mask in, it, it's just a bitmap, double click it, let's choose the mask, now I can't see anything here, let's go up, the reason is, let's go up again, the reason is because it's 100% here in the top one. It's only showing us uh, what's down there. So let's make this 50%. And then let's make this 50% also. There you go. So now you get to see um, that right now it's a blend. You can kind of play around with these. So if I go to, uh, let's go to zero. If I right click spinners in 3ds Max, it sets it to zero. So now you can see we're just seeing the orange showing through and then this is just kind of a, uh, a blended or kind of a uh, I don't know what you call it, kind of a, a um, I don't know, a blended material here. And then if I, uh, if I set this to 100, then I won't be able to see anything underneath it right there. So I have to set it to something lower than 100, so that's why I like setting it to 50. Um, this one I could set, if I set that to 100, then you'll see then all I can see here is the orange. So let's get them both something lower than that. That's why I say 50. You can play around with the, um, with the uh, add, subtract, uh, and mask buttons here and let me see if I click there we go so you can get all different it's kinda of fun to play around with and see what you can get out of it so anyway um, all I did there was I just again instead of the standard material clicked on it and just chose one of the other materials to play with so do that see what you can do on your with your mask and uh, have some fun with it and thanks a lot for watching I teach 3D and, uh, and uh, send me a letter let me know if you uh, enjoyed it